Hey everyone, Megan Cox here, and today we will be going a little deeper with Google Meet. I will be sharing some new features as well as some tips for those of you using Google Meet on a regular basis. If you are new to Google Meet, don't forget to check out our first video called Getting Started with Google Meet. Once you started your Google Meet session, you should get to a screen like this. One tip for those of you who may be hosting these sessions frequently or hosting with a variety of participants who aren't used to this platform is to show or display a splash screen for participants as they enter. On the last video, we showed you how you could share your screen by clicking presenting now. What I have done is created a slide with a few tips for my participants to follow. To show this as they enter, I'm going to hit present now and choose a window. I have simply opened this program on another tab on my computer and I'm going to select it. Now, as my participants enter the session, they will go ahead and see some directions to get them started. Although this is showing, I can go back to my Google Meet window and allow others to continue to see my splash screen. I can still use my chat function as well as speak or even wave to my participants. Please note you will see a window for myself, the presenter, and a window for what I am presenting. Participants will be able to see that as they enter or toggle back and forth through the People tab. Another great function is using the captions. Again, we explored this feature in our first video. However, a function we did not show you is the ability to translate your captions. Now that I have turned this feature on, you will begin to see the captions appearing at the bottom. By doing a simple right click, I can choose to translate. Please note, yours may say translate to English the very first time you do that. Once you choose it, a pop-up window will generate and you can choose more languages. Once you choose to change your language, you will have a drop-down list of several choices. Simply hit done and you will be translated. One other tip that I want to share with you guys today is the ability to record your meeting. This is a recent addition to Google Meets and you can access it by clicking the three little dots in the bottom right hand corner and choosing to record meeting. Once you do this, you will be prompted to ask for consent. From there, your recording will start soon and once it's ready, it will generate with a red recording dot in the top left hand corner. This lets you know that you are ready to present, share, and speak. Once you have completed your session and you are ready to stop recording, you also go back to the three dots and choose stop recording. Please note that it is prompting you that this video will automatically be created saved and uploaded to the Google Drive folder of the person presenting. Simply hit stop recording. Depending on the length of your video, you will, you will get a email and an uploaded video in a short amount of time. One thing to note is this email will be sent directly to the Google email account you are logged in with. If you do not check in to your Google email often, you may want to set that up for forwarding. If not, for this purpose, just access your mail at mail.google.com to get your video. Once your video has processed and you access your email, you should get a message similar to this. It will give you a link to the file in your drive 
as well as a chat transcript if you use the chatting feature. This will make it easy for you to share with participants that may not have been able to attend the live session. To show you where you can find those, simply go to your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, you will notice that it has created a folder called Meet Recordings. Google does this automatically for you. Inside of here, it will hold all the video recordings of your Google Meet sessions, as well as any transcripts of chat you may have. This way, you can simply click on it and get a shareable link to send out to others. Thanks so much for tuning in to our Dear Dis video. Make sure that you check out our other videos on our channel and follow us on all social media platforms.